Why, lastly, is marriage important? Paul lays it out at the end of Ephesians 5 when he's talking about the relationship between Christ and the church and the husband and the wife. And this is the thing that I want you to grasp, okay? This is true for marriage, but it's true for every single relationship. Marriage is one of the primary relationships God uses to sanctify us and shape us into the image of his son, Jesus. And what, what that means for you is that the greatest, the greatest purpose and meaning in your marriage is not for you to be happy. It's not for you to have stuff. It's not for you to have a long, loving life with your spouse. I pray that all of those things come from marriage. But the purpose of marriage is for your holiness. It's that as you lead your wife, you would make your wife look more like Jesus. And as you follow your husband, that you would make your husband look more like Jesus. That's what Paul says. What what did Jesus do for the church? In, In Ephesians 5, he sanctified her, he cleansed her. He presented her in splendor that she might be holy and without blemish. I think part of the challenge in our culture and the issue in our culture is we just we have a completely warped and misinformed understanding of the purpose of marriage. Right? I mean, we reread the fairy tales and it's happily ever after and man, once I get married things are going to be fantastic and wonderful. I mean, I don't know about you, but marriage isn't easy. Now, I don't not want to be married. I love my wife. Hear me. Okay, people? Love my wife. But it's not easy. Marriage, when two, right, when two sinners get together, it's a multiplication of sin. And it doesn't make it any easier. But it is one of the greatest ways in which God makes us into the image of his son Jesus. 